YouTube friends. Today I'm going to take you for a drive through a campground. This is called Old Mill Stream Campground and it is in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And I'm going to take you right from the entrance so that you can see where you'd have to go. Because it gets a little narrow there so I wanted to show that to you. So while I'm waiting for the light, um, I want to tell you, it, this campground is right next to a theme park called Dutch Wonderland. And Dutch Wonderland is geared toward children 12 and under. So it's mostly for small children. There are some things there that older children might enjoy, but it is mostly geared for younger children. The theme park is not open right now because of COVID, the virus, so it is shut down. When you stay at this campground, I believe you do get a discount for the theme park. The campground does not have a pool, um, but they do have a water park at the theme park. So again, the theme park is closed. So if you stay here now before it opens, you will not have any kind of swimming place. Um, also, theme park does have a roller coaster that you can hear in the campground, depending on what part of the campground you're in. And I believe when the theme park is open, that roller coaster runs till about nine o'clock at night. So be prepared for that noise when they are open. If you have small children, then you would probably love staying at that campground because you can just walk right over to the theme park. So this is how you would come in. And it's kind of windy and narrow. See right here, this part? It wasn't like this until a few years ago. It used to be wide open, but then they put that little divider in the middle there. This is a Cartoon Network hotel next to it that they just um, redid a hotel to be that Cartoon Network there. So you can see that. I'm going to pull over because somebody needs to pass me. So then when you come up, you're going to be at these gates here. This is where you go in, I think, to park at the campground and the um, theme park. And then there's no one in there right now because the theme park is closed. So if you're going to the campground, you come in here and you will go straight ahead. Watch for this dip here. There's the sign. It's because it's a Wednesday, there's not a lot of people here. I just wanted to give you an idea of what the campground looks like. It's a really nice campground. They do have cabins that you can rent. I'm not sure if they are pet friendly or not. You would have to look that up. So you can see there's a lot of shaded spots here. These kind of look like park models, but they may be calling them cabins. would back up to the woods. So this empty site right here is site 500. So if you wanted a more private one, it would be that. I'm just driving through the campground. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. No, not at all. Okay, thanks. 
Is the work camper checking on me? So these back here are along the woods. It looks like they have electric and water. That's probably where I would want to be. And this is the furthest from the amusement park, so it would be the quietest. So here we have a stream. There's a park bench here on the left, so you can sit and look at the stream. And then I see another park bench right there on the right. There are sites all along to the left here, if you can see them. I believe these are tent sites here on the right along the stream. I don't see any hookups there, so I don't know if they would let you camp maybe with a pop-up camper or a teardrop if you didn't want hookups. Looks like a dump station there on the right. And uh, no, it is not a dump station, it is just water. There's a small playground, closed off. During COVID, the play, um, playgrounds have not opened yet in Lancaster County. And there's farmland on the right, if you can see back in the distance, there's cows. So you'd have a really nice view here. So up ahead, if you see the dumpsters and the gate, that is a service entrance into the amusement park. So that's how close the amusement park is. It's right there. That's the monorail you see along the top. And in a second here, you're gonna see the roller coaster. There's the roller coaster. So you can imagine that if you were camping in these spots right along here, it would be a little bit noisy. Um, this pavilion here on the right is a great place for groups to go. It has bathrooms in there and it's heated in the winter. I went to a rally there last November and um, it's really nice because it's heated and I'm not sure if they have air conditioning. That's the laundry room. It says bathrooms, laundry, restrooms, and game rooms. Okay, game room. Here is the office. So when you come in, if you just go straight ahead, that's where you'll find the office. I'm sure if I came in on the weekend, it would look totally different, be filled with campers. The campsites have been filling up here. The campgrounds, I should say on the weekends. I'm not sure what that building was. I was trying to read signs. It might be more bathrooms. in November here there's an RV and women rally every November and there used to be I'm not sure if they still do it but there used to be 
a tab teardrop rally here. I'm not sure if they still do that. So again, this is called Old Mill Stream Campground. It's open year round. They do have bathrooms open in the winter. So um, it's very close to all the shopping, the uh, outlets, Tanger outlets and Rockvale outlets. And that's it for the campground. So I didn't take you down every little street, but you got a good idea. They're pretty much, a lot of them are the same. And then you come back up here to the highway. When you go out, I'm going to follow the exit path here so you can see how you would go out. This way, and you're going to go towards the theme park. And there's the roller coaster again. So if you had older children, I'm sure they would enjoy that roller coaster if they like roller coasters. And there is some water rides. I'm not sure when they will be opening, but right now um, they are not open. But they're hoping to open this year. And then they're open until Christmas time. So that's it. Check it out. And... Uh, Maybe it's a place you'll want to go. I'm going to show you real quick the castle here. That's Wonderland. There's the castle. That's where you go in at to enter the theme park. So, have a great day. If you like this, click the thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. It's free. There's the entrance to Tanger Outlets right there across the street. You could actually walk there. And we'll see you next time. Bye.